Hi everyone and welcome back to Thedos Room. I noticed that you liked the video about the story behind Lilith, therefore I'm going to make various videos about the stories of the most famous video game characters. If you didn't play the God of War games and would like to play them, you shouldn't watch this video, it isn't spoiler free. Thus, here we are in this video, where we'll tell you the story behind Kratos in Greek mythology. Kratos was born in an anonymous Greek village. Son of Callisto, they escaped from the village because his mother was accused of adultery. Therefore, they went to Sparta, together with his younger brother, Deimos, who, however, didn't have the strength and the ability of his brother. Unfortunately, once Sparta was attacked by an army led by two strange figures who came to catch Deimos. Kratos, trying to fight them, was injured in the right eye, on which will always have the famous scar. Worn out from the battle, Kratos, who couldn't fight anymore, saw his brother going far away from him, while one of the two strange leaders of the army got closer to him to apologize. She was Athena, the goddess of justice, and the other one was Ares, the god of war. Kratos could never forget that day, and, to give honor to his lost brother, he decided to get a tattoo, a red sign which went from the head to the left arm, exactly like the sign that Deimos had since birth. A long time passed from the moment, and Kratos became a powerful warrior and the strongest general of the biggest army of the entire Greece. Later on, he got married to a woman, Lysandra, from whom he got a daughter, Calliope. During a battle against a horde of barbarians, Kratos, with a decimated army, was about to perish against the king of barbarians. However, when he knew he couldn't do anything but die, he asked help from Ares, the god of war, without knowing that he himself kidnapped his younger brother numerous years before. Furthermore, if Ares helped him, his soul would be his forever. Thus, Ares chose to help him, and descending from the Olympus, he gave Kratos the Blade of Chaos, two big blades attached to his arms by chains, a symbol of the Kratos' power and strength subjugated to the god. In that way, Kratos was able to defeat the king of barbarians and have his life saved. For many years, Kratos pillaged, killed, and slaughtered the name of Ares, until a day. On that day, he, during the attack of a, on a village, violated the temple devoted to Athena and got in there, even though the oracle told him to not do that. Therefore, Kratos breached the temple and, blind in rage, killed everyone there. Suddenly, Ares brought Kratos' wife and daughter there, and he had intentionally killed them. After that, the oracle cursed him. The ashes of the killed family will forever be attached to his skin, whitening it, and making all the people know the cruelties he accomplished. Since that day, Kratos, whitened from the ashes of the wife and the daughter, was called the ghost of Sparta, and his nights were haunted by always the same nightmare, the murder of his family. Six months after the murder of this family, a shadow reached Kratos to inform him that the Furies were looking for him and that the only way to find the vision of his dead family was to console the oracle of Delphi, Aletheia. Therefore, Kratos left his house to go to the oracle. The ghost of Sparta succeeded in finding the temple by a bridge created by the statues of three huge snakes. The travel, however, wasn't easy. Kratos had to fight against a chimera and a manticore. There, he struggled against Castor and Pollux, merged into a single body, who were the guardians of the temple. After a battle, the guardians pushed down a precipice the oracle to get her farther from Kratos. However, the ghost of Sparta pushed the guardians down the precipice, too, killing them. In that way, he succeeded in reaching Aletheia, who was about to die. She revealed to him that the shadow was the Fury Orcus, and that the only way to be free from the visions was to reach the Lantern of Delos. Thus, the Spartan went to the port and sailed to the, to the island. On the ship, Kratos met with Orcus, who was revealed to be the son of Ares and of the Queen of Furies, Alecto. Ares was thought to have created a perfect warrior, able to kill Zeus, but Orcus disappointed him and since then he helped the mothers to keep the judgments. However, the unfair pact with Orcos made Ares understand the cruelty of his mothers, so he decided to help Kratos. 
the ghost of Sparta accomplished three challenges of, for the god, killing enemies, innocents, and his family, and he wanted to use him to kill Zeus. Reached Delos, Kratos tried to reach the lantern, but he had to fight many times against the sea monster. Then, Kratos met the furies Megera and Tisiphone, who faced him in a place halfway between reality and illusion. During the struggle, the sea monster sank the lantern. At the moment when Kratos was able to defeat the furies, he was immobilized by their queen, Alecto. However, he was saved by Orcos, who helped him escape and gave him the Judgment Stone, which gave Kratos the power to double himself. The ghost of Sparta was able to reconstruct the stage of Apollo which held the lantern. In that way, he made the object emerge from the abyss again. Got into the lantern, Kratos obtained the Eyes of Truth, which gave the Spartan the power to delete the illusions of the Furies. Orcus revealed to him that the eyes were owned by the Oracle, but they were ripped off her by the Furies to prevent her to reveal Zeus, the plot against him. However, Kratos was reached by the Furies, who caught him and brought him in into their prison. There, Alecto stole him the eyes of truth and Tisiphon the Judgment Stone. While he was a prisoner, Megera intentionally freed him instead of hitting him. Thus, Kratos started to chase her, who tried to unleash the hands of Hecatonchires, infected by her parasites. However, after killing many of those ants, Megera was forced to awaken the head of Aegon, who was stabbed by one of his own ants, controlled by Kratos, though. So the ghost attacked Megera, killing her with the blades of chaos. Kratos, however, later on, started to be haunted by the illusions of the Fury Tessiphon, who unleashed against him a flying creature, from which Kratos obtained a judgment stone again, though. So the Fury ran away. Unfortunately, Kratos fell into an illusion by Alecto, who pretended to be his wife and asked him to unite with them to kill Zeus. He, however, stole from her the Eyes of Truth, revealing the illusion. In that way, Alecto decided to kill him. She transformed into the previous sea monster and attacked the warrior with Tisiphon. After a tough battle, Kratos was able to kill both the Furies and get his freedom. Got back home, he met with Orcos, who informed him to be the witness of the pact between him and Aures. Therefore, the only way to be free from the pact was to kill him. Kratos reluctantly killed his friend, becoming free again, but eager to have his revenge on Aures. At one moment, Kratos understood that Aures brought her wife and daughter to that temple. In that way, he eliminated all the things which related him to the mortal world. He could, be he could become the war machine Aures always wanted. Therefore, the ghost of Sparta started to serve the gods to atone for his sins, to ask to delete his memory, and to revenge on Aures. As a servant of Athena, he had a crucial role in defeating the army of Persians, who invaded Attica, killing their, their king Xerxes and their basilisk. When he came back, however, he noticed that the sun chariot, led by Helios, fell into Hades because of an unknown force. Thanks to this occasion, the god of dreams, Morpheus, wrapped the earth with a magic mist. So, Athena, before falling into a perennial sleep, told Kratos to bring back the sun to earth. The Spartan, however, descending into Hades, was defeated by Charon, who was later defeated by Kratos during another struggle. So, got into the Tartar, Kratos found out that behind the kidnapping of the sun, there is Persephone, the wife of Hades, who rebelled against the gods who forced her to get married without her consent. Eager to have revenge, she allied with the titan Atlas, who would have instructed the pillar which held up the Olympus and the entire earth if she had freedom. However, Kratos didn't allow it, so he was before a tough choice. He could have remained in the Elysian fields with her daughter if he had given Hades' wife the strength she needed for the operation, or keep fighting for the little time the, the Earth had. At first, Kratos gave up to the, to the force to stay with Calliope again, however, in a second moment, he understood to have been fooled by the goddess. Destroying the Earth, the Elysian fields would be destroyed too, making Calliope's soul vanish. Instead, if he had helped Olympus, Calliope's soul would have continued to exist as a soul in peace. He could never see her again, though. So, he understood that his fate was to fight with the gods, renouncing his family forever. Therefore, after abandoning his daughter, he defeated Persephone, succeeding in bringing back the sun to the sky, and he was saved before hitting the ground by Athena and Helios. 
Ten years have passed since Kratos gave himself to the gods. Poseidon designated him to kill Hydra, and Athena gave him his last task, killing Ares, god, the god of war, the one who made him kill his family. The goddess instructed Kratos to do that because Zeus prevented a god war, but she knew the rage and revenge will that the ghost of Sparta had on Ares. Therefore, Kratos sailed to Athens. Arrived at the city, the Spartan breached into the forces of Ares and reached the temple where the oracle of Athena was located. She revealed to Kratos that the only weapon can kill a god, the Pandora's box. However, she warned Kratos that many people try to obtain the box, but no one has ever been able to succeed in gaining it. The warrior, therefore, left Athens to reach the desert of wandering souls, and there, thanks to Athena's instructions, was able to find the titan Cronus, who crossed the desert eternally without a destination, bringing on his shoulders the temple of Pandora. Thus, Kratos got into the temple and started to solve all the riddles which he needed to reach the box. Solving all the riddles, Kratos succeeded in finding the lost box. Here, Athena asked him to bring the box to her city to save it. However, Ares, who had just known the will of Kratos, launched a pillar from Athens on him and killed him, asking later her Arpias to retrieve the box. The Spartan fell into Hades, however, thanks to the help of a grave digger, was able to come back to life and reach the god of war. He succeeded in stealing the box from Ares and opening it, unleashing the power of the gods, sealed the millennia before. In that way, the final struggle between the, go the ghost of Sparta and the god of war began. Ares, using his psychological powers, teleported Kratos in the temple where the Spartan killed his family and deprived him of the blades of chaos. However, Kratos was able to free himself from the illusion and started to fight again with the last gift of the gods, a sword that served as a bridge from the temple of Athens to the desert of wandering souls. Thanks to this sword, Kratos was able to defeat the god of war and kill him. The ghost of Sparta achieved his revenge and the gods forgave him but they refused to delete his memory. So Kratos, desperate and abandoned by the gods, went to the top of the highest mountain in Greece and jumped into the void, thinking that the only death could save him from these appealing visions. However, Athena saved him and gave him a place among the gods. Kratos became the new god of war. So, Kratos was at that moment god of war. However, his visions continued to haunt him. At the time, he started to see, to see his mother and his brother dead as well, but he understood that those visions weren't just illusions, but they were real, and he could change them. As he spoke to Athena, before arriving at Atlantis, the, cla the cradle of knowledge, built in honor of Poseidon. At the temple of Poseidon there was an oracle, who could solve every existing dilemma or riddle. However, before docking at the port, a tremendous and horrible monster attacked him and his ship, sinking it with all the fleet who followed him. It was Scylla, the destroyer of ships, who attacked numerous times the Spartan. After saving himself from the monster, Kratos started a tough journey to arrive at the temple of Poseidon, where he hoped to find answers. At the bottom of the temple, he found his mother, Callisto, who was lifeless but still alive. She told Kratos something about the Spartan's father, but the will of the lady was to save Kratos' brother, Deimos, who was still alive too, hidden somewhere. Kratos couldn't believe his mother's words. So, he asked her who was his father, the creator of such pain. With the last breath, his mother told him so, but then she transformed into a horrible monster because of a curse she had on her. After fighting with her, Kratos was forced to kill her, stabbing her and making her feel at peace again. During his breakout from the city because of her deem, the Scylla, he found himself before the titan Thera, from whom the Spartan gained the ability to ignite his Athena's blades the only way to get out of the magma chamber. Another time Scylla came to Kratos, but he, with his new power, succeeded in killing the monster by stabbing him with the system that allowed Atlantis to float. However, his victory brought about the falling of Atlantis. Destroyed by periodic volcanic eruptions, it started to decay into the ocean. The next objective of Kratos was to come back to his birth city, Sparta, and precisely to the Temple of Ares, because he was sure to find there traces of where the brother could be. During his travel, he found himself on a mountain range, where the younger Spartans were sent to become men. Here, he met with Arinde while arriving at the doors of Sparta. 
Here, he had a flashback which reminded him of the words of an oracle who said that a marked warrior would have been the cause of the, following, of the falling of the gods, despite their eternal enemies, the titans, who would have remained against them. Furthermore, Athena and Ares went to Sparta to kidnap Deimos because he had the skin marked. Therefore, Kratos arrived at the temple of Ares, where after a struggle with the past himself, he was able to get the artifact that allowed him to get into the kingdom of Thanatos. He also understood that the doors of the kingdom were in Atlantis, which by this time was at the bottom of the ocean. So, the ghost of Sparta went back on his steps, arriving inside of a cavern where Midas hid, the king with the power of turning all what he touched into gold. After a chase, Kratos was able to catch the king, launch him into a lava waterfall, turning into gold and allowing the Spartan to climb it. After reuniting with a group of Spartan warriors, he sailed to Atlantis. The city was destroyed and Kratos had to activate the enormous statues of Poseidon again to arrive at the door of the world of the dead. After getting into this world, the Spartan finally found his brother, freeing him from the chains which held him prisoner. However, Deimos, in a moment of anger, told Kratos that he could never forgive him for, for having allowed his kidnapping. So, the two brothers started fighting, and in the end Deimos won because Kratos didn't want to face him. However, when Deimos was at the point to kill his brother, Thanatos took action, wanting to kill Kratos' brother to avenge his daughter. Kratos, almost dying, was able to reach his brother and save him, though. In that way, he earned his brother's trust, who decided to unite with him in the final battle. Kratos, therefore, gave Deimos the weapons of Sparta and prepared to face Thanatos with him. However, facing him, Deimos died, while trying to save the god from a tough hit by Thanatos, who in the meanwhile transformed into a tremendous demon. In front of the sight of the lifeless brother, the Spartan unleashed all the power of Thera, igniting himself so much that he damaged the armored body of the god of death, turning him into human dimensions, and, after a struggle, he killed him. Recovering the corpse of the brother, Kratos brought it to the top of a hill where a strange person had already prepared a tomb for Deimos. And said, he said that by that time Kratos became death, the destroyer of worlds. At that moment Athena appeared too and apparently sorry for the death of the two last members of Kratos' family, she offered to delete Kratos' memory who unex unexpectedly refused and started to walk towards Olympus. When Kratos couldn't hear her anymore, she pronounced, Forgive me, brother. Thus, the grave digger appeared next to Athena, holding in his hands the mother of Kratos. While burying the, women, the woman, he said, Now there is only one left, revealing his identity. He was Zeus, king of Olympus, and father of Kratos. In the meanwhile, Kratos, wearing the armor of God of War, sitting down on his throne, was preparing to help his army besiege the city of Rodi. After losing all his family, Kratos used all of his powers to make the Spartans win every battle because he considered them to be his only family. So after some time, Kratos is besieging Rodi. The pristine God of War, despite the tries of Athena of helping him, is fooled by Zeus, who after the death of Cerex, decided that the ghost of Sparta must be stopped, whatever it takes. Thus, the king of gods, with the excuse of helping him kill the Colossus of Rodi, awakened by a magic, made him pour all of his powers into the sword of Olympus, which he was going to use later to kill Kratos. However, neither this time Kratos died, he saved by Gaia, mother of the Titans, prisoned by Zeus during the great war between Titans and gods. She offered him her help. To change his fate, Kratos had to go to the island where the fates are located, guardians of the loom of destiny, thanks to which he could return to the past and change the future. The ghost of Sparta, in this way, succeeding to overcome all the dangers of the island, defeating Lachesi, Atrop, and Clotho. They weren't at the top of gods, forcing them to accept their fate, as Thanatos told him time before. They are instead dummies of Zeus. After killing them, Kratos arrived at the Loom of Destiny. So, he returned to time and took the Sword of Olympus, and then started to a tough battle with the Father of Gods. When Kratos was about to win, Athena saved Zeus, who died instead of him. While she was dying, the goddess revealed to Kratos that Zeus was his father, and that the reason for which he betrayed his son was the fear of the possibility that the son defeated the father, as Kronos did with his father Uranus, as Zeus did with his father Kronos. However, Kratos already knew that his father was Zeus, this was just another confirmation. 
So Athena told him that his attempt was useless because the gods would have united to kill him and the Titans. But Kratos didn't give up and declared war on Olympus. Then he went to Gaia, traveling through time at the time of Titanomachia. Thanks to his new powers obtained from the fates, Kratos teleported some of the surviving Titans into the present. Deciding to have revenge on Zeus, Kratos climbed Olympus, together with Gaia and the other Titans, holding the sword of Olympus. Followed by the Titans, Kratos was found at the first enemy of Poseidon. After a battle against his horses and Poseidon as water, Kratos was able to make him weaker and kill him with his bare hands, unleashing with his death one of the many plagues that were going to devastate the world. This didn't worry Kratos, who continued his climbing towards Zeus, who, worn out of the behavior of the sun, cast him and Gaia off Olympus. To save herself from death, Gaia didn't have Kratos, who fell into Hades. Landing to the sticks, Kratos lost all of his powers and Athena's blades were destroyed by the souls in the river. Athena, however, appeared in front of the Spartan and revealed to him that there was still a possibility of destroying Olympus. He had to find the flame of Olympus hidden in the safest rooms of the gods. However, Kratos asked her why she was by that time helping him when before she died to save her father. She confessed to him that by dying she acquired the knowledge that made her understand it was necessary to kill Zeus to, for the sake of humanity. Then Kratos made with his brother Hephaestus, who revealed to him that he couldn't pass through the flame because he was capable of killing any of a god. To come back into the overworld, as last information Hephaestus told Kratos, he had to activate the portals of Hyperion, however, to do that he needed the soul of a god. The god of war took the soul by Hades, who wanted to avenge his wife and his brother Poseidon, so Kratos killed him. Come back to the slopes of Olympus, Kratos met with Gaia, who punished by mimicking her precipitate. Then the ghost of Sparta watched the battle between Perse and Helios, who Kratos killed brutally after a little time. The Spartan used his head to light up the darkest zones. Getting into the cavern of Eos, Kratos used the chain of Olympus to travel among the different levels of the mound, and arrived at the top, he firstly killed Hermes, from whom he took his boots, then Hercules, and finally stepmother Hera. Then he found Aphrodite, who explained to him the existence of a maze essential to conclude the mission. However, Hephaestus opposed this, because he was afraid that Kratos could be a threat to his daughter, Pandora. Thus, he sent him into the Tartar, where he had to find the Omphalo Stone. In that way, he could forge a, a special weapon, hoping, however, that he didn't ever come back. Here, Kratos fought against his grandfather, Cronus. Kratos killed him, and the stone, which was in his stomach, was donated to Hephaestus, who actually fulminated Kratos, though. But he failed, and the Spartan killed him, too. After that, he entered the maze where Pandora, who is revealed to be the essential object to extinguish the flame and recover the vase. After killing the guardian Scorpius, Kratos solved the maze, destroying, however, the most hidden room in Olympus. Zeus noticed it and started a struggle where Pandora sacrificed herself to extinguish the flame. The action vanished when the vase was revealed to be empty, though. Full of anger, Kratos followed his father until he arrived at the place where he, was, he had been fulminated before. Here he found Gaia, who, with the, with the hand almost grown, wanted to kill both her descendants. However, they got into the body of the titan, passing through a wound that Poseidon's horse inflicted on her. After an excruciating battle, Kratos killed Zeus and Gaia. Believing that his mission was ended, Kratos recovered his sword from the corpse of Zeus and went away. However, the ethereal form of his father surprised him, destroying all of his weapons and blocking him into his mind. In this mental travel, Kratos was able to finally forgive himself for his sins, and, thanks to Pandora's voice which led him, he found the hope he lost when he killed his family. Come back to the overworld stronger than ever, he killed Zeus with his bare hands, taking the world into the primal chaos. Therefore, Athena appeared again and explained to Kratos why he found the vase empty. Fearing that the devils blocked it inside after the great war could be released again, Athena put inside of it the hope, a power stronger than the devils, capable of destroying them. However, when it was opened during the Battle of Athens, all the sins transferred to the gods, making them hostile to men, while Kratos gained hope. After that, she asked him to give her that power. Kratos, however, after understanding that he killed old gods without them knowing the bad actions they were doing, didn't want to know anything else about her and pronounced these words. My revenge is fulfilled now. 
With his or sword, he killed himself, unleashing all the power of hope into the world. He sacrificed himself to give the world the possibility of redemption. After that, he fell to the ground, dying. However, after some time, he was able to move and flew away with a phoenix, ready to have a new life.